Leo, you are up for the October general tarot energy reading. Okay. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Let's get into this. Um, you've been in your head a lot is, is what's going on. Or you, you are right now for October. This is, I don't want to call it imposter syndrome. This is something where you feel like you have something to prove. And it's causing you to get in your head. Some of you are learning something new. I know in previous readings, especially over the last month or so, there was a lot of job stuff with Leo in the career readings, you know, money readings and in the general readings as well. So for some of you, you may have already started a new job. For those of you who have, this page of Pentacles would definitely symbolize that, starting a new job. For others of you, maybe you are learning something new on the job or you have to learn something new on the job because maybe they changed computer systems or they decided to give you a little bit more work, whatever it is, you're, you're being required to learn something new. I think it disturbs you when people learn faster than you. And I especially feel, especially on like a new job, I can't believe I used it especially twice that quickly, whatever. On a new job, obviously you want to do a, you want to do a good job. You want to, I guess you could say impress and all of that other stuff to show that you're making the effort to do the best job possible, to work with the team and all that other corporate stuff. However, you don't have anything to prove. You've already, for those of you who have started new jobs, you've already shown you're capable by being hired because your resume is what got you the interview. So they saw something on your resume that was like, oh, I think Leo might be a good fit here. Then they called you in or did a Zoom or whatever the hell they do these days. Then they spoke with you. And after they had the conversation, they were like, oh, wow, Leo's resume is good. Leo knows how to communicate. Leo seems to have a great personality. I think they'd be a fit here. They did all of that just based off of interacting with you. If they felt you couldn't do the job, they wouldn't have offered you the job. So instead of thinking, okay, well, now I'm here, I have to perform and putting all this pressure on yourself. Just make it a point to do your best. That's all you need to do. You don't have to be, quote unquote, better than the next person. You don't have to be in competition with anyone. This card, the devil is clarifying the page. This can be an obsession card. Also, this could be Capricorn energy too. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. And obsession in the sense of maybe you could be overworking yourself in doing that. Again, putting too much pressure on yourself. The sun came out in reverse. Clarifying the sun in reverse is the tower. Meaning that the approach to something needs to be revisited. It needs to be built again. Also, there may be some people around you who might say slick things to criticize you, but in a shady way. It's not where they just come out and say something. It's just like, you know, you know how people do. That type of thing. I say that because the Knight of Swords is here. Now, also, this card can signify taking action or being impulsive with your actions. You don't want to get so caught up on your head, Nine of Swords clarifying the Knight of Swords. You don't want to be so caught up in your head that you just act recklessly to seem like, okay, I'm getting something done. I'm, I'm doing this. Where you're just like, okay, I need to do something. And then you just do it 
but you don't necessarily think it through and then maybe you miss a detail or a step or something like that and then it doesn't work out because you were too swift with it. You were too impulsive with it. You were just looking to get something done so you could put it up on the scoreboard so management or whoever could see. Again, you don't want to be in that energy which goes back to this. Obsessed. Take your time. The ships will come in with the three of wands. Fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The ships will come in. As long as you put your best foot forward, the ships will come in. You will see growth over time. If you notice, this one doesn't have any leaves. This one doesn't really have any leaves. But this one does. So it will be growth over time. You just have to be balanced, moderation, temperance with your approach. You have to stay grounded. And anything going on can be healed by moderation. That's how, this is how you can heal this in the reverse with moderation. You're the person that controls your joy. No one else can steal your joy because they didn't give it to you. You don't have anything to prove. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. This is letting me know it will be a slow process, but in the end it will be worth it. You don't want to rush the process. Bottom of the clarification deck is the King of Pentacles, King of Coins. Taurus energy. There will be balance. There will be stability. There will be... What's the word I'm looking for? There's a word. It's about like, um, based off of the name. Not prestige. Not authority. It's something else. It's like name recognition. Position like power recognition. Like if somebody is a sergeant versus if somebody is a general. Type of thing. Like, there will be an ascension up the ranks, is what I'm saying. It's just it will take time. As long as you're patient, the end result will be good. Alright, so Leo, that is your message. Until next time, be blessed.